Now, AI talking avatars have gone viral on social media over the past year, and I've had a ton of questions from subscribers wanting to know how to create their own. So in this video, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step guide. So the first step we're going to start with is the image generation and for that we're going to go over to Midjourney. Now you can use any other AI tool to create your images but I've just found Midjourney to produce the best results. And this is the prompt that I've been using. So it's Pixar cartoon style black male with short hair and blue shirt sitting at home office desk with a laptop studio portrait, crisp, clean look, window in the background with books on a shelf and then aspect ratio 16 by 9. And you can see some of the stunning results that it has produced. With these set of images, I slightly changed the prompt, actually put in cartoon first before Pixar style, and these look a little bit more cartoon style. But overall, this prompt is very interchangeable. I would say the words cartoon, Pixar style, you must leave those. But then regarding the race and the features, you can change those to something more suitable to yourself. Make sure you have sitting at a home desk in order to have your avatar sitting behind the desk. You can have it with a laptop or not, that's up to you. Then make sure you include the words studio portrait and a crisp clean look. And then it is really up to you what you want in the background, but I usually like to go with a window in the background and then with some books on the shelf. It might not get it perfect first time around, but you can always regenerate the image by clicking here until you get something that you like. Now for this kind of cartoon Pixar style, I have found version 5.2 to produce much more consistent, reliable results. And here are a few images that version 6 has produced and it doesn't really create the cartoon Pixar style as well. And I didn't really like the angles that it came with too much. So that's why I went with the 5.2. And in order to change those settings, all you need to do is input forward slash settings, click enter, and then you can choose which version that you'd prefer to go with. And once you have found an image that you want, then make sure that you upscale it. Now, a second option to create an image that almost resembles you exactly is a new feature that Midjourney has just introduced called character reference. And we can read in Midjourney's announcements about the character reference, and it states that it tries to make the character match the character reference image. And all you need to do is type dash dash C R E F and then the URL of the image that you want. The default will be a strength of 100 and it will match the face, hair, and clothes of the reference image very closely. However, a strength of zero just means that it will focus on the face. However, it will change the outfit, hair, and anything in the background. So I tested this out by uploading a photo of myself, and then I still kept the same prompt as mentioned before. However, I added the dash dash C R E F, and then I dragged and dropped my reference image into the prompt. Make sure you put a space after the dash dash C R E F. Otherwise this won't work. And then don't forget to put the dash dash aspect ratio of 16 by nine as this is perfect for videos. And it's actually quite fun to see how some of these images turn out and just to get a more realistic looking AI avatar. Now, some of these make my head look a lot bigger than it is, but I'll probably go with four as it's the image that looks like me the most. And then we can upscale the image by just clicking the U4. Now, if there's any part of the image that you don't like, then you can actually use the vary region here to change that. So if we just click on vary, then one thing I don't want to include is the Apple logo. So I can just hover over that using the square tool and then write the words remove and click for it to generate the image. And you can see the four images that's generated here in three of them is gotten rid of the Apple logo. So this is a great feature if you want to edit any part of your image, maybe add something like a microphone or maybe some pictures in the background. And once you are happy with your chosen image, upscale it again. 
However, for me personally, this image is a bit too much of a close up. So what I prefer is for it to zoom out a little bit so we can see more of the table and office. So all we need to do is click the zoom out 1.5 X option and then it's provided me with four more images that I can use as my AI avatar. So I've upscaled the fourth one again, it's just my personal preference and then finally upscaled the image as this will produce a much higher resolution image. Then if you wanna download the image, just click on it, right click and then make sure that you save it as whatever file name that you want. You will also have to turn the image into a PNG or JPG, but you can easily do that in Canva. So the next step is to actually turn your picture into a talking avatar. And to do that, we need to go over to d-id.com. Then you will need to sign up and create an account, which is free and they give you a limited amount of credits. But once you are logged in, you will be taken to this screen and to start creating your own talking avatar, you just need to click on create video. And then to add your image, all you have to do is click the add button here. And next to get the avatar talking, you can either write your own script and use one of the AI voices, or you can add your own audio. So you can type in your script into the box here and then choose a specific language that you want and also a voice. So as an example, I typed in, hi, I'm Danny. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is about talking AI avatars. Then the language I've chosen is English United Kingdom as I'm based here. And then you can choose from a selection of voices. You have Alfie, and let's click on that one first to see how it sounds. And then you can just click the sound button here. Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is about talking AI avatars. We can also try another one. Let's say Noah. Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is about talking AI avatars. So it's just about testing out different voices until you find the one for you. That's if you don't want to use your own voice. But if you do want to use your voice, you can either buy a microphone or use your iPhone, speak into it, and then just upload the audio. This is the option that I go with as I prefer using my own voice. And then you just click generate in the far corner. Now there is a cost with each generated image and it shows and tells you there. So with the free account, you are quite limited, but they also have affordable paid subscriptions. So you can take a look through those. So I've already generated a few of these to save time, but we can listen to how it sounds and looks with the voice of Noah. Hi, I'm Danny. This video is about talking AI avatars. And then with my own. Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is about talking AI avatars. And once you are happy with the outcome, then just download it and upload it to whatever video editing software that you use. So thanks for watching another video. This shows you through my exact process of creating an AI avatar. So you can create one in the Pixar style or something realistic. And that looks a lot more like yourself. If there's any other video you'd like to see, then let me know in the comments.